The Florida Department of Transportation is partnering with the City of Gainesville to implement emerging technologies on an initiative called the Gainesville Signal Phase and Timing SPAT Trapezium Project. The project will deploy connected vehicle technologies and applications along a network comprised of four arterial corridors surrounding the University of Florida campus. The project aims to test the effectiveness of connected vehicle technologies to improve travel time, safety, and vehicle throughput, while also providing information to the road users. This project deploys pedestrian and bicyclist safety applications. This is one of the first connected vehicle projects in Florida, with a focus on vehicles, pedestrians, bicyclists, and other non-motorized modes. Connected vehicle infrastructure is mainly comprised of vehicles equipped with onboard units or in-vehicle technology systems and roadside equipment that are usually attached to the traffic signal system. The project includes three types of applications, vehicle to infrastructure, vehicle to vehicle, and vehicle to pedestrian. This project tests 11 vehicle to infrastructure applications. The SPAT map display application sends red, yellow, and green times to the onboard units. The red light violation warning application alerts the vehicle when it is predicted to go beyond the stop bar when the traffic light is red. The wrong way entry application alerts the vehicle when it is traveling in the wrong direction. The Curve Speed Warning application notifies the vehicle about speed limit on a curve or exit ramp. The Work Zone Warning application notifies the vehicle when it is traveling in a work zone. The Speed Limit Warning application lets the vehicle know the speed limit when traveling through the designated areas. The Pet In Crosswalk application is designed to alert the vehicle when pedestrians are present in or near the crosswalk. See the pedestrian warning in red. The Vehicle Advanced Detection, or VAD application, detects an approaching vehicle and places a call to the traffic signal controller. The Emergency Vehicle Preemption, or EVP application, allows emergency vehicles to travel through a signalized intersection without stopping to avoid delays. The Transit Signal Priority, or TSP application, allows a transit vehicle to travel through a signalized intersection by requesting an extension of the green light cycle. The TSP application helps transit vehicles to stay on schedule. The Priority Green Light application allows the city maintenance vehicles to pass through the signalized intersection by requesting the green light cycle in emergency situations only. Vehicles equipped with onboard units and in-vehicle technology systems can communicate with each other and share information in real time to prevent collisions and thus improve road safety. This project contains four vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle applications. The Emergency Electronic Brake Lights application aims to demonstrate that the host vehicle receives a warning when the lead vehicle brakes harshly. The Forward Collision Warning application tests if a host vehicle receives a warning when the distance between it and the lead vehicle is very small. The Intersection Movement Assist application sends alerts when there are two vehicles in a conflicting movement at an intersection. The Do Not Pass application notifies the host vehicle when it is not safe to pass the lead vehicle. See the Do Not Pass red triangle in the upper left corner of the onboard unit. Vehicles equipped with onboard units and smartphone apps communicate with each other through roadside units and share real-time information to improve road user safety. This project contains one vehicle to pedestrian application. A PEDX smartphone app was developed by the University of Florida. This smartphone app, when installed on a smartphone, notifies the pedestrian of an approaching equipped vehicle. This application is expected to improve pedestrian safety. See the vehicle warning on the smartphone. The University of Florida will conduct a project evaluation study using before and after data. For more information, please contact Dr. Raj Panaluri with the Florida Department of Transportation.